Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. It started with your stocks, Gaurang Shah and Prakash Gaba join in to answer all the queries that are being sent in by our viewers. So gentlemen, good afternoon to both of you. Our first query comes in from Nabila Qureshi, who's written to us from Lucknow. She says she has 100 shares in Kadilla, which she has bought at 380 rupees. She's been holding on for a year and five months. She's a long-term investor and wants to know what she should do. So, I mean, it's pretty much her investment has gone nowhere, actually, as of today. Uh, just my losses over there. So, Gorang, first to you. Uh, Kadilla, so far, no, uh, uh, you know, no loss, no gain. What should she do? Thanks for that, Sura, and good afternoon to all of you all. Well, for the last year and a half, I think uh, there has been a lot of pain in the pharma sector itself, Sumera. So, uh, not really surprising to see, you know, the investment not going anywhere. Uh, but long term, uh, we remain positive on Cadilla, and uh, there are signs of improvement. Uh, it may take another maybe a year and a half or so for a total recovery to come and to reflect on the earnings. Uh, she will, she, given one and a half year, I think if she's got another one and a half year to stay invested, uh, my advice would be to stay invested because we at GS have seen that large part of the pain in pharma is thing of the past now. All right, large part of the pain in pharma is uh, behind now, but uh, forget pharma, the hospital space is doing fairly well, in particular Apollo Hospital, that should come up for you. Results on Friday, good results over the uh, weekend, there was the earnings call and right now that stock is rising up around 15% as we speak. Uh, so we will keep an eye out on individual mid caps and one of them right now is Suntech Realty. They posted a strong set of first quarter numbers with their consolidated profit seeing a jump of nearly 95%. Collections also improved marginally. Kamal Khetan the chairman and managing director of Suntech Realty now joins us on the phone line. Thanks a lot, Kamal, for joining in. Uh, we'll talk about your numbers in a bit, but if you could tell us some internals, you know, how many units did you sell this quarter in BKC? What was the average realization? And with this in BKC, how many units remain? Uh, good, good, good afternoon, viewers, and good afternoon from Mera and Mangalam. Uh, in BKC, we sold, in fact, two units, one in Signature Island and one in Signia Isles. And uh, we, the average realization from there is 53 crores, and the amount is uh, 53,000 rupees a square feet, uh, average realization, and the sale is 66 crore. And now balance unit is out of the more than uh, out of the 220 units, the balance units are like 49 units. Okay, hi, Mr. Khetan. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, what about the project in uh, Goregaon? Then give us a sense of, uh, you know, what units were sold there, what's the realization, and also now in total, uh, what's your unsold inventory? So, uh, Goregaon, uh, we sold, we did a good sales this qu uh, quarter. If you see, uh, we sold 46 units, getting a sale, total sales realization of 92 crores. vis a -vis, uh, just 11 units uh, uh, corresponding quarter last year and 22 crores of sales. Uh, so, and this uh, this 46 unit uh, was almost 92 crores. All right, uh, and uh, what does this take your total unsold inventory to? You said you had about 49 units uh, remaining in BKC as well. How many remain in uh, Gurigao now? So, total unsold inventory, uh, let me give you the total unsold inventory today for the from the completed project is Suntech has almost close to 2,500 crore, which is including BKC and other completed projects. And uh, ongoing project, which is uh, Gotega ODC, and plus uh, one or two other ongoing projects, put together a total unsold inventory is uh, close to 1,250 crore, which will be, uh, all this uh, project like ODC will be completed in next 12 to 18 months. This will generate another completed inventory of 1,250 crore over and about 2,500 crore. So this is uh, the 2,500 crore that you're talking about. Uh, by when do you expect to, you know, realize this and reflect uh, uh, on your sales? Because we saw your pre-sales and they were weak. Why was that? So pre-sales is, if you look, uh, it's a ma minor dip, if you look quarter on quarter, in fact, year on year, the, it has been a jump of almost 42% and it's a marginal dip of 2% if you look at a quarter on quarter. In fact, Q4, we did a good sales in uh, BKC last, uh, last quarter. This quarter, if you see the sales has been very good in the ODC, in fact, Gorigaon West. So that has, uh, because of that, it has offset it almost. And going forward, we are seeing the market is picking up in more in the mid-income mid group segment and the affordable. So we'll continue to see this robust growth in ODC segment. Okay. 
Uh, what about your low-cost housing project in now uh, Naigaon? Um, I mean, we'd heard that uh, perhaps there was a delay in the launch. What's the update? No, so we are looking to launch by the end of this month. In the next 15 days, uh, you'll hear the launch of with a big bang. Uh, you'll see a very good traction. We are seeing already a very good traction. We are looking to sell more than, in fact, thousand units, and we'll be doing a sales of more than 250 to 300 crores from that project. In the next 15 days, you said? Yeah, yes, yes, in the next 15 days. All right, so we will watch out for that launch. Uh, any funding requirements that you have? What's the debt on your books now? So, our debt is, if you see, it's negligible. The debt equity ratio is 0 0.17. And if you see the net secured debt is just uh, 311 crores. Uh, so, we don't see any funding requirement. In fact, uh, we see a lot of opportunity distress assets which are there in the market. Across the segment from the luxury to the affordable segment, we are we'll go, uh, you'll see some good announcements, aggressively acquisitions going on. What's, what's the size of acquisitions that you're eyeing right now and can we hear anything in this quarter itself? Um, I would not like to comment on this uh, uh, right now. It's in Bombay itself, it, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it will be sizable, definitely. Well, I guess the market uh, like uh, likes what the management is saying. The Suntech Realty stock now up almost two odd percent. Incidentally, it's close to its 52-week high as well. Uh, so thanks very much for joining in and for uh, giving us a sense of what's to be expected from the company. Meanwhile, the market looks to be once again taking a bit of a turn for the worse. So the uh, key indices are slipping from the top actually a little bit. Um, in uh, the frontline space, pressure looks to be coming in. Uh, some of the biggies like uh, see an ICICI Bank, which is extending losses a bit, SBI as well, Yes Bank. Um, as well, you have the likes of, say, a Titan, uh, etc., which seem to be uh, giving way a little bit more. Um, there are more queries coming through. Chitra Singh has written to us from Pune. She says she holds 100 shares of care ratings, which she bought at 1350 rupees about uh, two years back. She's a long-term investor and wants to know what to do. Uh, so once again, somebody losing a bit of money in care actually over here. But uh, Prakash, what's your view on the stock to somebody who's held on for two years? Is there a reason for them to give more time to this stock or could there be better opportunities? In fact, this is not the time to sell. If you're okay. on, sitting on loss or if you're just sitting at cost price, just hold on. This is the place looks like it should bottom out. And sometimes the process of bottoming out takes time. Care rating is the place to buy, I would say. If you have not bought it, add some more. It can climb up to levels closer to 1500 to 1550 zone. So I'm not really worried. I would say hold on. All right, hold on. To well. The currency remains a spot of bother. In fact, it opened at a record low. And look at that, 69.68 now on the rupee against the dollar. So back at those record low levels. During the day, actually, we had seen a bit of a respite on the rupee. There were rumors that perhaps there was some central bank intervention. Uh, but now, once again, uh, the rupee is back at record low levels. And perhaps this is what is spooking the market as well. So about 160 points now gone on the Sensex. The Nifty is down 50-odd points. And the banking stocks... Uh, I mean, it's a, a tough session for them. So 340 points now gone on the Nifty Bank. But let's focus on some more uh, stocks. In the meanwhile, we'll try and get some reactions on the rupee as well. Uh, Mr. Vijay P is on the line with us from uh, Pune. He says he has investments in NBCC. Hi, sir. How can we help you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Tell us, how can we help you? Yeah, I'm holding 2,000 shares of NBCC at 85 rupees for the last four months. Okay. So, after the quarter one result, what is the outlook for this stock? Okay. Uh, uh, I want three months and one year outlook for this stock because it's a government company. Okay, yeah. sure. Uh, so, first, let's focus on the fundamentals since you spoke about the earnings this morning. And I think from what I can remember, the earnings looked a little bit tough, actually. Uh, so, NBCC has seen some bit of contraction in their margins mm -hmm. as well. Um, you know, there, there was a one-time real estate income, and that actually was uh, what made optically the earnings look a little bit decent. But, Gaurang, what's your take uh, on NBCC? And for somebody who's losing a bit of money there, what would you advise? So, Sumera, we are positive on NBCC and we do have a buy coverage on NBCC. But the problem is uh, the time horizon and the issues. Uh, we have state elections. We have a big general election. And during the next 8 to 10 months, I think approvals are going to come at a very slow pace. So, order book is there. Very healthy, no doubt about it. Credibility in terms of executing that order does exist. Uh, the issue is, for the next 8 to 10 months, don't expect any miracles in terms of order book execution. 
uh, because of the uh, issues related with state election and the general election. So with a one and a half, two year plus time horizon, I think uh, we should definitely hold on to it. Uh, we do believe that once all these local issues are done and dusted, uh, exhibition should pick up space and that should translate into earnings visibility as well. All right. So once uh, the election uncertainty goes away from two-year perspective, this looks good. So let's get in your query, uh, uh, your view as well. NBCC is uh, the stock that our viewer wants to know. And for a one-month uh, period, for a three-month period, as well as a one-year period, if you could uh, help us, Prakash. Because from uh, uh, the start of this year, the stock is down about 42%. But over the last couple of months, it's shown signs of some stability. See the high of 150, come down to less than half. It's around trading at 72 today. I don't think there's a time to sell. In fact, it's stretched to the downside so much that it needs an unstretching on the upside. So it is a time to hold. If you want to buy, buy aggressively. I think it can see a level of around 95 to 100. So it's a matter of time, it'll go there, but it's not a time to sell. All right, matter of time can go there, but not the time to sell. Meanwhile, we have numbers coming in. This one's from Goodrich Industries. Looks like the margins have contracted a tad bit. That's primarily because the revenue is up about 13%. The net profit is coming lower by about 15%. We will try to get in some more details. But remember, Goodrich Industries, on a standalone basis, is the chemical business of the company because Goodrich Agrovet has now been uh, demerged as well as it ha has holdings in Goodrich Consumer as well. So, meanwhile, currently, the only numbers that we have right now, the revenue as well as the net profit, Profit. Revenue looks like it has increased by about 13 percent, 3,000 odd crore rupees out there, and the net profit has declined. So we will try and get in uh, uh, the EBITDA as well. That number should uh, soon come up for you. EBITDA has declined by about 10 percent. So that explains the sort of decline that we're seeing on the net profit. Maybe the margins have contracted, and uh, uh, that is something that the street doesn't like. The stock down but by about a percent and a half. We will get in some more details. Meanwhile, this is the only number that we have on Godrej Industries. So uh, let's get back to answering questions. Then Sejal Banerjee, um, right? Uh, 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 actually, color on these numbers. Um, household insecticides has seen double. That's Godrej Consumer. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. My mistake. <laughs> okay. I know I heard you, and then I kept looking at it. All right. <laughs> All right. So we'll we'll answer Sejal's questions then. Uh, uh, she writes to us from Kolkata. Holds about us 160 shares of DHFL. At 649 rupees for the last six months, long-term investor wants to know whether to hold or sell. Prakash, uh, DHFL, what would you say? Hold on. Damn good stock. Absolutely a good stock. If you get dips, there are buying opportunities. Basic structure positive, 550, very strong support zones. If you get a dip, buy it. Looks like once it crosses the level of around 600, 660 zones, I think it's going into much higher zone. I like the pattern. I like the structure. All right. Up next, Mrs. Sneha Singh has written to us from New Delhi. She wants to buy 100 shares of Godrej Industries for the long term and wants to know what's the right time. Uh, so I suppose she was just about, uh, you know, at the right time, <laughs> yeah. Gaurang. So uh, give us your sense of what the numbers are looking like. It looks like a bit of a weakish set, actually. And for somebody who wants to buy it, is this the best available opportunity? Uh, so, Sumer, I can't, uh, you know, guess on the timing and pricing. That's oh. what I'm bad at. So I don't want to <laughs> venture into that. But uh, among the SMCG states, we do like uh, Godrej Consumer Products Limited, okay. uh, which has seen a consistent delivery and has seen some decent upside. And there is more steam left on the stock given the kind of local and global businesses that they are into. All right, so choose Godrej Consumer over Godrej Industries. And now the decline on that stock is actually extending by about 3%. Now it's sub that 600 rupee mark Godrej Industries after the margins have contracted. The EBITDA has come in lower by about 10%. Margins have come in at 6.6. .6. This compares with 8.3. And that is where we have a vertical decline on Godrej Industries. Uh, we have Mr. Gansham Patel calling us from Gujarat with a query. Mr. Gansham, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I hold. Uh, uh, hello. Ha ha. Bolye, sir. Ha. मैंने Cameron Fine 90 में परचेज किया हुआ है long term के लिए. Okay. Prakash, uh, Cameron Fine for the long term. I think it's very good. It's into a consolidation zone now. It sometimes stays a long for a longer time in consolidation zone. I think it's good stock, good to hold for a long term. And once it breaks out from this level of Camelot from the 97 zones, I think it's going higher to around 120 zone. I like the structure. It's into some kind of a base formation now. 
ओके सो मिस्टर पटेल आपके लिए राय यही है कि फिलहाल तो आप इसमें बने रहें इसमें सौ रुपए से ऊपर के भी लेवल्स जो हैं वो हमारे एक्सपर्ट को दिखाई देते हैं सो फिलहाल आपका जो ये इन्वेस्टमेंट है ये काफ़ी ठीक लग रहा है नोन इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ टू सन सन फार्मा हैज मूव द हाई पॉइंट ऑफ द डे अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी हैव सन टी वी ऑन दी अदर हैंड which is now extending its cut in fact it came out with numbers on friday it did not look like a bad set ad revenue growth of 20% ipl business a bit of about 200 crores versus expectations of a loss that uh, 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 rather expectations of 120 to 140 crores the analysts had and that stock lower by about 8% anything on the charts that explains this decline uh, uh, prakash on sun tv yes certainly so the move that we have seen on sun tv the move that is seen from the lower levels of correct to somewhere around 7 to 2030 to 840 zones is looks like a more of a reactive move which basically tells me i'm going up but going up to come down and thereafter is got exhausted is coming down i think sun tv is going back to levels of 730 and may even breach that level so it looks weak to me expansions have been sold into sun tv it's weak all right uh, so the chart for sun tv not uh, spelling out much hope as well but let's get back to answering our queries uh, rahman m has called in from new delhi Hi, how can we help you? Yes, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Tell us, what's your question? Yes, actually, ma'am, I have a Euros International. I okay. buy price is two hundred two rupees. Okay. So I can average. Uh, I can add more, and then I can exit. Uh, can you please uh, guide me? Okay, Gorang, it's all yours. What would you advise? So, well, I think uh, first, of, I mean, uh, no specific coverage, but the stock had been in news for some negative yeah. news on the management and their operations in the Middle East, if I'm not mistaken. So, amongst the entertainment exhibitors, we have coverage on PVR, and of course, there is this ongoing, uh, you know, issue of uh, allowing outside food into the theater, etc., uh, which we did see getting postponed to, I believe, uh, first week of September. The matter is going to again come up for hearing. But among the you know entertainment exhibitors, uh, we do like PVR as an investment idea. All right. Hope that answers your query with regards to Eros International. Gorang believes that it is not a good opportunity. It doesn't have specific coverage, but uh, in that sector, PVR is a good bet. With that, we have uh, Mr. Sanjay Narayanan, who, Narayan, who writes to us from Arunachal Pradesh, holds 200 shares of Tata Chemicals at 648 rupees for the last one year. Long-term investor wants to know whether to hold or sell. Prakash, your view on Tata Chemicals from a long-term perspective? I like Tata Chemical. Long term, looks like this, it's trading at a place where it is make or break levels. Basic structure positive, trading as support zones. I think we're seeing an up move from here. Maybe to 750 to 800 zones is a possibility. I think it's a stock to buy and hold. All right. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, Greaves caught and actually coming out with the uh, numbers. Uh, volume is actually looking quite sizable uh, on this stock. Uh, the profit, though, just about uh, you know a three four percent shave off on that. Still coming in close to forty odd crores in the top line, has seen some bit of an expansion, but no, but, you know, not much movement on the stock. Is still down about a percent and a quarter. But uh, Gaurav, we were speaking about Tata Chemicals earlier. What's your take? I absolutely in sync with what just Prakash has mentioned, Sumira, and uh, you know we're quite excited about the. Specialty chemicals and agrochemicals related business of Tata Chemicals. Mm. I know the stock has not done much for some time, but uh, I believe uh, uh, with the focus that the government has got on the agri sector, uh, we are going to see good amount of traction into companies which are into making specialty chemicals as well as agrochemicals. So, uh, mm. long term, hold on to Tata Chemicals. All right, hold on to Tata Chemicals. That's the view coming in on uh, Tata Chemicals, both from Prakash as well as Gorang. We have S A Rahman. In fact, two Rahmans back to back, uh, writing to us from Hyderabad this time. Holds about 1,100 shares of Apex Frozen Foods at 900 rupees for the last six months, sitting on a, fa a fair amount of loss, four and a half lakh rupees. Prakash, your view on Apex Fo Frozen? Apex Frozen, weak stock. I don't like the structure, but this is not the place to. Book loss. This cost price is very high. It's seen an up move coming down. Looks like at the lower regions there could be some kind of support emerging. The place is right, but it happens or not is difficult to say. So just hold on. It can climb to around 650 zone. So some kind of resistance is there. If it goes to 650, then anything that comes down could be bought into. So I would just hold on to the stock. I know it's loss, but hold on to the stock. 